Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's topic is uh, anti-amoebic drugs. I will introduce you one important drug in your daily life. Very, very useful, highly useful drug. Metro Nidazool. Metro. Metro. It's nothing but Hyderabad Metro, you can say. Metro Nidazool tablet. Very powerful. One tablet is enough. Single tablet is enough. It stops your motions. Motions. Loose motions. See, for loose motions, mainly it is caused by the amoeba. This is an amoeba. Very simple cell in our uh, entire planet. A simple living cell is the amoeba. All right? Okay? Right. This amoeba will make you a complicated diseases like a motion. See, whenever there was a motion, you cannot travel in the journey like that. You can remember in this video. Okay? If you are suffering with a fever, if you are suffering with a body pain, if you are suffering with a headache, no problem. We can uh, continue our journey. But however, when there was a motion, so you have to stop the journey and immediately you have to take a lodge in the same city or a town and you have to be stay and you have to take a treatment. Then only you can stop. Very dangerous. That's why one tablet you have to keep. One tablet is enough. Okay. It's a very cheap. It's a 50 pies. One tablet is 50 pies. Metro Nidazol. Uh, brand name is Metro Jill. Jill, Jill, Jiga. Metro Jill. Okay. If you are traveling in a metro, uh, you will feel like Jill, Jill, Jiga. Highly colorful. Okay, one tablet, it's enough. It's just 50 pascas. Amoeba, amoeba, anti-amoebic drugs. These are the drugs useful in the infection, which is caused by the anaerobic protozoa. This, this is anaerobic. That's why it will not be there in the lungs because it is anaerobic, anaerobic. See here, aerobic means it always try to stay in the lungs. This is anaerobic. That's why it goes to intestine. And it causes a uh, motions. Anaerobic protozoa entamoeba histolytica. Okay, right. So one and only drug keep in your mind, my dear students. It is a one and only. one drug is enough because uh, uh, there is a seven more drugs also there, but all are having a same mechanism of action. Bumper discount to you. If you know about metronidazole, uh, remaining seven drugs, no problem. and need not to be uh, learned. Okay, right. And also, students, they are missing this O, 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 anti-amoebic drugs. They are writing anti-A-M-E. So, don't miss the O. This is very important uh, thing whenever you are writing in the examination. See, I told you this is anaerobic protozoa. Why? It enters into the intestinal lumen. In the lumen, it takes a cycle. Okay? And it is converted into T, tropozoid. This tropozoid will also enter into the bloodstream. See here, tropozoite enters into the bloodstream or tropozoite, it forms an ulcer in the intestinal ulcer. It causes intestinal ulcer. From that ulcer, it enters into the bloodstream. So directly either it enters from the intestine or through the ulcer. It, this is called a dysentery. See here, dysentery. When it causes a ulcer, then you can say dysentery. You will say in the motion, you will get a pus-like uh, uh, liquid, pus like liquid. This is called a dysentery. Okay. Gummy motion. It's called a dysentery. Motions is different. Dysentery, diarrhea is different. Dysentery is different. Okay. So, bloodstream and it enters into the liver. In the liver, it forms a liver abscess. Okay. From here, actually, it uh, enters into the cyst passer. It enters into the fecal matter. That is actually the thing. This is my mobile app. We can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. In the store option, see here in the store option, I have kept all my videos in the PDF format. Quick review before the examination, quick, uh, you can be take a review. And you can see all my courses in the courses, the respective subject. You can be find this PDF and the playlist option. If you, this is my YouTube channel, go to the playlist option. There I have arranged all videos subject wise. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise. This is your uh, thing, see here, anti amoebic drugs, okay? The spelling very, very important in the syllabus also. Uh, you, you can check it, okay? Classification of the drugs. See here, tissue amoebicides and also luminal amoebicides. And that means that amoeba, whenever it was there in the tissue, these are the drugs which kills amoeba sites. These are the sites. That means that these are the medications which kills the amoeba when it was there in the tissue. And luminal amoebocytes, 
okay luminal amoeba site these are the uh, drugs which used to kill the amoeba when it was there in the luminal luminal and keep in your mind here you have a two option for both intestinal extra intestinal amoebiasis this workouts for the both tissue means including the uh, this one also including the uh, git also okay for both intestinal intestinal amoeba as well as extra intestinal that is a liver amoeba blood amoeba uh, amoeba was there in the blood amoeba was there in the liver for that also this is useful whereas uh, here you can see this is only for extra intestinal amoebiasis chlorophyll only for extra intestinal this is for uh, this nitro imidazole all are for the both intestinal extra intestinal, and metronidazole is one and only the uh, top top most king king okay see here this is belongs to nitro imidazole that's why all comes nidazole nidazole need need is nitro see here nitro dazole they combined these two nidazole so metro nid nidazole it came metro nidazole sec nidazole sec see here sec nidazole tinidazole see here tinidazole or nidazole see here or nidazole satra nidazole like that you will get okay for extra intestinal only chloroquin luminal amide and uh, this you had to be uh, amide classification is important eight hydroxy amino quinolin okay chloroquin that is a clioclinon okay and antibiotics like a tetracycline and paramomycin these drugs uh, are important names are important and uh, this is the only drug metronidazole remaining all are same because uh, this is a prototype drug prototype that means that it is a preliminary version it is a first version from which all other nitro imidazole drugs were developed so all characters are same characters it comes under the nitro imidazole class okay here i wrote a metro station for easy remember highly active amoebocyte this is a amoebocyte it kills the amoeba it is a broad spectrum it is a sidal hanging a sidal activity again it is the anaerobic protozoa only for aerobic it doesn't works keep in your mind aerobic bacteria any aerobic bacteria uh, will not be killed by the metronidazole entamoeba histolytica will not develop a resistance this is a uh, metronidazole will not uh, organism will not develop a resistance against the metronidazole pharmacokinetic same oral small intestine very good absorption widely distributed throughout the body or it is a metabolized by the liver okay this is metabolized by the liver and uh, widely distributed in the body and excreted by the kidney through urine adverse effects are non serious no adverse effect anorexia like you cannot feel the hungry nausea abdominal cramps etc this is a mechanism of action it cut out it cuts it cuts see dna of the organism that's the main thing here you can see metronidazole structure this metronidazole enters into the bacteria see this is a bacterial cell bacterium so this metronidazole will enter into the bacteria this metronidazole converted into metabolite by the during the redox uh, redox it undergoes a redox uh, thing and uh, it converted into metabolite this metabolite attacks on the dna of the organism bacteria or uh, that is a protozoa amoeba whatever it cut out see here cuts the dna fragmentation that is a main mechanism of action and this is for the treatment drug of choice for acute amoebiasis for a small period and mild intestinal amoebiasis this is a treatment this is a first choice of drug this is a alternative drugs okay only this is important this side metronidazole i800 mg oral uh, tds twice but 400 mg of uh, metrogil is more than enough 200 metrogil also available okay it is a mild intestinal for metronidazole same for any case metronidazole and this is for amoeba liver abscess for this a treatment metronidazole because i have already told you metronidazole for intestinal as well as extra intestinal also right okay this is uh, you have to be no doubt and only the drug of choice first preference this one okay alternative drugs that is for important for mbbs students so i will end my session here